we have a two-time Void event this weekend in Raid Shadow Legends. I'm excited. What is up everybody, my name is Lamby Plays, and welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we are on my main account, I now have to refer to my main account because it's an alt account too. <laughs> it's a thing. But if you're here, you guys know that this weekend we have a two times void event going on this weekend which just basically means that we have two times the chances to get an epic or legendary champ from our void shards which i'm super excited about i've been saving this void shard for about a month <laughs> a little over a month i think i've been saving this void shard because i didn't want to pull it under any other circumstances except a two time I am completely free to play on this Lambie 1705 account as of about three to four weeks ago. No more money spent, so I am not buying any shard packs. We do have a summon rush also going on this weekend, so that's always a thing. There's never just one thing going on in raid. There's always two, three, four, five things that's going on so we're gonna go in and we're gonna pull the one singular void shard we have and most likely this is gonna be a rare it's not a rare <laughs> it is an epic and it is cardinal i do not know cardinal's kit let's look at it attacks one enemy evaporation has a 10 percent chance of placing a five percent poison debuff for one turn okay uh, Mending Touch heals the target ally by 30% of their max HP and places a 60% increased debuff for two turns. Increased buff, increased, increased defense buff. Woo, I can speak today. It's a beautiful day. Can you believe it? And then Redemption, her A3, which is an ascendant skill. Uh, revives all dead allies, heals them by 25% of their max HP and boosts their turn meter to the max. So gives them a full turn meter for an epic champion pretty low hp low attack low defense low speed yikes on bikes okay but this is this is um her base stats at at a flat rate so yeah looks like a good champ I'm not gonna lie she looks okay she looks okay then you know what just because we only have one shard on my account let's pull the sacred as well I hate pulling sacreds because you never know what's gonna happen it's a Lego it's Roxam okay okay Roxam is a thing. Roxam is a big deal, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's see. His A1 Chroma Shift attacks one enemy. Has a 50% chance of filling this champion's turn meter. Or 60% 60 chance, 60 chance when booked. Of filling this champion's turn meter by 20, by 10%. Also has a 60% chance of placing a perfect veil buff on this champ for one turn. Uh, if this attack is critical. His A2. Holy crap. Attacks one enemy, fills this champion's turn meter by 50%, has a 100% chance of placing a stun debuff on the target for one turn when attacking under Veil or Perfect Veil, a 100% chance of placing a sleep debuff when attacking without the Veil or Perfect Veil, and places a, ve a Perfect Veil buff on this champion for two turns after attacking without that Veil. A very veil -y champion at this stage. His A3 Flicker Step, holy crap, it only works while under Veil or Perfect Veil attacks all enemies. Oh, look at this circumstantial, right? While under this, it has this. While under this, it has this. So, has a uh, attacks all enemies, has a 100% chance of placing a 60% decrease debuff, a uh, decreased defense debuff, and a 25% weakened debuff, decreases the cooldown of his jungle ambush. I believe that is his A2 uh, skill by two turns. That takes that down to a one turn cooldown. Goodness gracious. Okay. And then uh, while uh, not under a perfect veil attacks, one enemy has a 100% chance when booked of placing a 60% decreased defense and, 100%, uh, and a 25% weakened debuff 
on the target for two turns before attacking and then places a perfect bell on this champion for two turns after attacking and then he has an increased crit rate um, aura in doom tower battles by 23% that's the two that I had only two but my good friend and clanmate Hurricane um, was very, very kind and he has allowed me to pull the shards that are on his account as well. So let's pop over there, shall we? Alrighty then, we find ourselves here on Hurricane's account. Cheap Vodka, what a name, what a lovely name. Okay, and he has not one, not two, two he has 17 void shards now he did give me a little bit of a wish list as to which champions he would like to see from these void shards but according to him he is expecting 17 rare champions you know what i think we're going to subvert those expectations and we're going to get him something good i have a i have a good feeling like like right next to my left rib or maybe that's just an itch i don't know but you know what? Let's play the gamble. Let's see what happens. First pull. I can't watch. It's a rare. <laughs> it's a, it's Huntress. Okay, nothing special there. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team, Huntress. Who do we have here? We have the Fnatic. He is one of the Shadowkin. He's one of the newer champions in the game if you don't know his kit let's go through this quickly his a1 devil hunt attacks one enemy has a 40 percent chance of placing a 30 percent decreased de defense debuff for two turns and a 40 percent chance of placing a 60 percent decreased defense debuff instead if the target oh a 60 percent decrease defense debuff instead if the target is under two or more debuffs Woo, that didn't make sense for a second right there his A2, Curse Bearer, attacks one enemy, has a 100% chance when booked of transferring two random debuffs from this champion to the target. Pretty simple. Um, on a three turn cooldown, of course. And then his A3, Rallying Cry, places a 50% increase attack buff on all allies for two turns and removes run one run one random debuff from each ally <laughs> i can speak today i promise pretty good kit for a rare like this is comparable to to gore grab to um uh, arbiter that that is com comparable to that well that's a good skill okay let's move on <clears throat> let's see what happens Oh, I always hate pulling shards. <laughs> We've got a Doom Screech. Nothing too new. Doom Screech, welcome to the team. I always sit with shards, right? Ooh. Draconis, not a bad champion. Nice HP based champion. Very, very good for the uh, Scarab King. If you can build him up. And an HP based champion, which is really, really, really nice. Um, his A2 here places a shield buff on all allies equal to 15% of this champion's max HP for two turns on a three turn cooldown. Very nice for Scarab King. You know, I always, what I wanted to say, I always sit with these shard pulls and I'm going through these shards and I'm wondering, is this gonna be good? Is this gonna be bad? Is this gonna be a skirmisher? Oh my goodness. Go back to the wood, Hansel. Gretel. Go back to your, go back to your woods. We don't need you here. <laughs> Renegade, not a bad champion. Actually, not bad. Her ascendant skill on her, on her A1 attacks one enemy and has a 30, what's that, a 35, a 50% chance of placing a 100% heal reduction debuff for one turn, which isn't a bad skill. Decrease, and this one, Sacrificial Ritual, decreases the cooldown of all ally skills by two turns. This skill does not affect this champion or other champions with this skill. So, Painkeeper. This champion will receive damage equal to 30% of their max HP, and this will happen if it kills, even if it kills this champion. 
So there's a caveat there to keep in mind if you're gonna use uh, Ren Renegade, but she's a decent champion. Very nice aesthetic to her, to be honest. Uh, moving on, let's see. You guys are gonna hear so many different voices here. Panthera, decent champ, nothing to write home about. We've seen her a hundred times. Welcome to the team. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Uh, Centurion, okay. We're gonna move on. <laughs> We're gonna move swiftly along from Centurion. We have a towering titan, an epic champion. Hoo -hoo. Hello, towering titan. Towering Titan, his A1 shield splitter attacks one enemy, has a 55% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense debuff for two turns. His A2 flailing assault attacks four times at random, has a 50% chance, a 60% chance when booked, of placing a provoke debuff for one turn uh, on a three turn cooldown when you book it. That's not bad. And his A3. Uh, bullish Vitality places a 60% increased uh, defense buff on all allies for two turns, places a 15% continuous heal buff on this champion for two turns, as well as a shield buff equal to 30% of their max HP for two turns on a four turn cooldown if that cooldown was a little bit lower would have been so so good this would have been a really really op skill and then his passive battle brothers will transfer 50 percent of damage inflicted on cage breaker to this champion during battle obviously only available when cage breaker is on the same team if multiple cage breakers are on the team this champion will only transfer damage from one of them and then he has an ally hp in all battles by 25 percent aura not a bad champion not the best champion but welcome to the squad that is the epic we at least got an epic that is a nice one another epic we have a madam Ceres. Madam Sir is one of the most OP arena champions you can get. Her A3 is absolutely fantastic. Midnight Ritual removes all buffs from all enemies and places a 60%, a 50% decrease attack debuff and a 60% decrease de defense debuff on all enemies for two turns on a four turn cooldown when booked. Very, very good champion, Madam Ceres one of the best arena champions and one of the best epic champions in the game right now very good champ to add to the roster it's most likely a dupe for him but still a good champion we have harrier we're gonna move along you can go back to your boy band thank you very much <laughs> oh my goodness uh we have a stone skin <laughs> Come on, give me something good. A Bloodhorn, okay. Nothing to write home about yet. Mm, a rare again, another Doom Screech. <laughs> Hi, Doom Screech, thank you. I struggled for like six months to get a Doom Screech on my own account, and I've pulled two already today. We have a Hollow, and that would be my dog barking. <laughs> Two shards left, let's see what we can get. Uh, it's Gretel's baby sister, Confessor. Well, those are all the shards that we had on Cheap Vodka's account. Thank you again, Hurricane, for allowing me to use your account. It's not a bad haul, but most of them were dupes for him. The only one that came in new was uh, the Fnatic. The rest are all dupes. Good champs, but still dupes for his account. Man alive, what a what a time to be alive. What a time. So we're gonna jump back to my account and then we'll have one or two things before we end this video. All right guys, there has been some time passed since the last time I actually recorded because some things happened and I needed to deal with them first. So the two time void event has actually finished, but I still wanted to get this video out because I wanted to end this with one or two big notes from my side. Actually, it's not one or two, it's three, but that's besides the point. Okay, let's get to them. Point number one. 
Void shards are fantastic. Void champs are amazing. Some of the better and some of the best champions in the game come from void shards. But always, always, always remember that a void shard and a void champ is not the be all end all of raid shadow legends. A void champ is only as good as the team that you build around it. So a void champ is going to have a lot of utility because they're negative. They're not negative affinity anywhere. They have no uh, negativities when it comes to any affinities, you know. So yes, they're great, but they're not the be all end all. Always take that into account. The second thing to take that into account, if you are free to play like me, and you have a void shard you get one for any reason whatsoever save that shard do not just pull that void shard when you get it wait for a two time void event wait for a summon rush um i wouldn't say wait for 10 times events because 10 times events are <laughs> so wait for that two time event wait for that summon rush and then pull your void so that the void shard has a good champion that comes out of it, or maybe it's a dupe, that's fine, but then that shard pull has utility, a car drives by, <laughs> or a bike, um, that shard is gonna have utility somewhere else as well. And then the third thing, and my final little rant that I wanna get into for this video, is to remember that especially if you're like me and you are free to play, there is no shame and only having one void shard to pull when a two time event comes along. And there is no shame in looking at the shop when these amazing, amazing things come your way, looking at them and going, you know what? I don't have the money for that. I'm gonna skip over them. If you're free to play and that is your way to play, be proud of it, you know? Yes, I wanted more shards to pull. So I was very, very, um, fortunate and i'm very lucky to have guys like hurricane um cheap vodka that allowed me to use his account for some void shards for this video um and i'm really really grateful to him again thank you hurricane for allowing me to use your account for those shard pulls um but you know what when a two time comes around you only have one shard to pull fantastic celebrate that a shard that you can actually pull and if your clanmates or your friends are pulling good shards maybe they can whale and they have 20 shards to pull they get 20 good champs of which 19 are dupes celebrate with them because of the one champ that they get there's no shame in only having one shard to pull and being a free to play player as long as you're enjoying the game then that is all that matters is your enjoyment of the game yes raid is a fantastic fantastic game yes you can spend a whole lot of money and get really really far very quickly but if you're not enjoying yourself then what is the point at the end of the day so enjoy yourself be proud of being free to play you are going where you're going at your own pace enjoy those void charts when they do come have fun with your champs and you know what just in general, be happy with what comes your way. This game's RNG can be very, very, very angry at you sometimes. So enjoy what comes your way. Have fun with the champs you get. Build your teams. And if you get that void that changes the game for you forever, amazing. Celebrate it and enjoy it. All right, that's my rant. I needed to rant. Thank you. I needed to get that on my system, you know? <laughs> so let's finish this properly, guys. Please remember to like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you know, feed the, feed the algorithms and all that. Come on guys, I'm trying to record over here. <laughs> and whatever you do out there, please guys, stay safe, stay classy, do stay out of trouble, don't do anything that the sheep won't, and do remember that the grass is always greener where you go and water it. And until next time, have a good one everyone.